Wisconsin is struggling to keep young talent. Many college grads see their diploma as a ticket to leave the state. Tom Murray spoke with students and the companies trying to give them a reason to stay. Tom? Well, Carol, Mike, it's an epidemic known as Wisconsin's brain drain. 20-somethings are leaving this state in big numbers, but companies are urging them to take a second look before they decide to go. International companies, affordable city living, outdoor recreation that's hard to beat. It may seem like Wisconsin's got a lot to offer, but maybe not quite enough for young professionals. But I want to go somewhere more urban, so I guess Wisconsin's not where I'm going to stay. It only took us a few minutes on the UW-Madison campus to find students making plans beyond Wisconsin. I actually want to move to New York City and I want to work in advertising. I'd like to be a creative director. I'd really like to head out to Australia. Uh, I'm looking into a marine biology program. Chicago after college. Um, Probably looking to get into real estate. Wisconsin is hemorrhaging talented 20-somethings. They're taking their fresh ideas and top-notch education to other states. What is brain drain? Well, the concern is that we are losing more graduates than we're retaining in Wisconsin. Bruce Spade is director of a nonprofit well, research group. He says many young professionals want to live where they can ditch their car. We found that overwhelmingly um, having options other than driving is important for young people. But Wisconsin companies are fighting for the next generation of employees. We want some buzz. We want people to have fun working here. GS Advertising Agency in Glendale offers a relaxed, trendy workspace where even the general manager is wearing jeans. There's a stocked lounge right in the office and thousand-dollar bonuses for taking long vacations. We have our Monday morning meeting, all staff meeting, uh, in this space. You know, not your got, typical conference room. Not your typical conference room. Couches, comfy chairs. About half of this company's 45 employees are under the age of 30. That generation is a vital part of our workforce. It's a vital part of our industry. It definitely seemed when everybody was doing their job hunt that they were looking to sort of get out to these big cities. New hire Kate Schmidt just graduated from UW-Madison. I thought, mm, there's probably not a whole lot going on here. And as soon as I came here, I realized how wrong I was. Big employers are also part of the effort. Harley-Davidson, Johnson Controls, Kohl's, Northwestern Mutual, and many others are part of a young talent attracting network called Fuel. And even for those who do leave, Wisconsin has a way of luring them back. They finish college and they want to go to a bigger city. They want to go to Minneapolis, St. Paul for a while. David Egan Robertson is a leading expert in Wisconsin population trends. His chart shows people in their 20s leaving the state, but people in their 30s and even 40s moving to Wisconsin. A lot of people who grew up in Wisconsin were living somewhere else, worked for, you know, probably 10 years, the first 10 years of their career, and then they come back to Wisconsin. Now, the state's numbers show Milwaukee is actually best in the state at attracting people in their 20s. For companies in suburban and rural Wisconsin, winning that generation is a much bigger challenge. I found it was interesting, Tom. You said that one thing you thought people would bring up, they did not when they, you talked to them. Yeah, so people gave us a lot of reasons for why they might want to leave Wisconsin, but none of the students said anything about the weather. So <laughs> okay. interesting. I guess you get used to it. Being yeah. in school here, you do. growing up here. Yeah, it's not, not that bad. Oh, no. Okay, thank you, not John. Yet.